Namaste and welcome to this video. I am Abhinav. In this video, I am going to share about as a beginner, if you want to learn about Buddha's teachings, what should be your way, right? So the first thing that I will say is that congratulations. If the desire to learn more about Buddha's teachings has arisen in you, it is like the, the seed of the Buddha, which is in all of us, has sprouted in you. So congratulations and uh, I have been through the same journey and uh, I also didn't have anyone to guide me so I uh, tried my own things and learned the hard way. So I am in this video just giving you, uh, I have made a list of points as to how you can start learning about Buddha's teachings. See Buddha's teachings are very vast right but we can make it easy for ourselves right for like for example take an analogy of a car. The 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 effort the real effort is is there when you you know when you move the car from a stationary to you know moving once the car starts moving then it is becoming easy so our is our task is to get started right and then once you get started you will find your way right so congratulations and i will say that once you start uh, on the journey of learning buddha's teachings you will not be the same person again because it's truly transformative teachings right so uh, okay so first thing what you do is that uh, create a dedicated journal on buddha teachings like it can be a, a notebook or it can be a, a rough register or no some fancy thing just make a dedicated journal which is only to record your progress on the buddha teachings that is number one then i want you to write why you want to learn buddha's teaching right see because we don't buddha's teachings involve some work right it, it involves like half ha, half an hour every day in terms of learning doing some meditation right so it's not we are not here to do some kind of surface level work right uh, so it, it is very important for you to be clear on what is your why right for example for some person uh, it can be the suffering that one has seen in his life that motivates him to go in the direction of buddha's teaching because buddha's teaching is totally about getting free from suffering right so what is your why? Why do you want to learn? Why why it is that you want to devote time to this as compared to maybe watching Netflix or doing something else? So you need to be very clear and what can help you in being clear is to write one para or one page on why you feel that uh, learning Buddha's teachings is, the, is for you, right? So that will give you clarity. And also you can come back to this particular para or this particular page when you lose motivation in your in your journey because every in every journey there will be the uh, you know initially you'll be very excited and everything and then the motivation level will go down so when motivation level is down two things help one is coming back to your why and second thing is the company of a sangha company of a spiritual community who is practicing with you which i'll come to later in this video right now understand this buddha's what buddha did was once he became enlightened he spread the knowledge of the entire knowledge and, and, and after his death through oral teachings and after his death one of their his core disciples some of the core disciples they started translating what they have heard into uh, discourses right so there are some 84,000 discourses now in, in Pali canon which is the Tripitaka it is said they are arranged right the earliest writings or discourses of the Buddha which are some they are said to be some 84,000 discourses like so it's vast teaching so now as a beginner, we don't want to go through that route. So it's like you see the Amazon rainforest is there. So you don't want to walk in that forest, right? First, what, what we want to do is we want to take the helicopter approach. So what you want to do is the first you want to get a basic idea of, of Buddha's teachings. Now, the good point about the Buddha's teachings is that the entire teaching is, the core teaching is the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path, right? This is actually the core teaching. Now, when Buddha traveled so many places, according to the people, according to the audience, he adjusted his teachings so that they, they can understand his teachings. But all the 84,000 discourses or whatever the knowledge is there, they all come back or are connected to the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path. So what we, what we want to do is that we don't want to be like a theoretical masters of Buddhism, right? What we want to do is... And I just hope that you are aligned to me when I say this is that we want to use Buddha's teachings to free ourselves from suffering. What was Buddha said, right? That, that my teaching, I will only show you the way. You have to walk the way. So we have to 
implement those teachings in our daily life right we don't want to just focus on our like you know all the uh, theoretical debates and arguments no there are a lot of people who do that let them do our focus is to focus on the core teachings and implement those in our daily life so though there is a vast teaching that is there what we will do first is to take a helicopter approach and understand the core teachings then after that if you want to go into the individual discourses or anything then you are free to do that but first get a main idea like the four noble truths the noble eightfold path the three characteristics impermanence non self suffering karma rebirth these are like the main teachings and then you can decide how do you want to move forward okay now okay so uh, how to go ahead is that there are like first you need to pick up a book right so the i will give you two choices the first book that you can uh, first choice is there is a book which is a free book available courtesy buddha net uh, uh, website uh, you can go on the buddha net website and download a free pdf a book which is called fundamentals of buddhism by dr p santina peter santina right so that book is a all credit to buddha, uh, buddha net dot net dot net i will give the link in the description you can download that free ebook make sure if you have the means and can afford you do donate to that website right because they are hosting all the lot of free ebooks on buddhism right so that is one option another option is you can buy this book the heart of buddha's teaching by thiknat han right very revered buddhist monk thiknat han the heart of buddha's teaching it's a power packed book very concise very precise power packed book on on the core teachings of the buddha so one of these books whichever you feel or you can do one approach is that you can finish one book and start another book whichever approach is fine right so pick up one book that will be the your main reference point towards studying buddhism so so it's like said journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step so you have to just take that step don't focus too much about advanced teachings and all at this stage just take that one book focus on starting with one page per day don't have lofty goals like i'll cover 50 pages or i'll cover this entire book uh, in one day so this is not some novel right buddha teachings take some time to understand so focus on like covering one or two pages or you depending upon your capacity you may do like 10 pages every day once you do the learning once you do the uh, understanding then you at the end of the day you can do some journaling what journaling does is journaling helps us to kind of arrange the knowledge in our mind otherwise what happens is the knowledge comes and then the knowledge goes out right But journaling helps us to reflect and assimilate the knowledge in our mind right then only we can implement it now so that you can do start with one page then if you feel you can do like two three pages a day that's fine so keep journaling your progress side by side what you can do right see what i do on my channel and this is my small effort to spread buddha's teachings because i myself how i started i was also confused thankfully this book heart of buddha's teaching helped me to get a structure uh, right uh, but i was also confused and initially and you know trying to figure out a teacher and everything and i did not get and i had to start myself what i do is that i have one is the videos that i do like this video that i do on buddhism uh, another thing what i do is that i do live sessions on thursday 7 pm ist all right i do live sessions in english on buddha's teachings and i cover the core teachings so it's like over a, like 5 to 10 sessions i will cover all the so i have i take the ppt and i go through that ppt uh, containing all the live uh, all the core teachings so uh, you can see down below in this description uh, to this video there will be the details for the live session is there you can join via zoom it happens at thursday 7 pm ist and you can join that and in that zoom session after the session you can ask questions also i don't have all the answers i am also on my learning journey but i will try to give you a perspective the 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 best perspective that i can offer you i will i will do that so feel free anyone is welcome there is no charge it's completely free of cost if you feel that the uh, my teachings or my perspectives help you you can make a small donation the link will be there but that is totally optional there is no uh, no compulsion right so that is there you can join the live session so live sessions what will do is that it will complement your learning the main learning is through the book to complement it you can join through the live sessions then what you can do is that you can join the telegram so one is a telegram channel my telegram channel where i post the updates you can join that and one is a telegram discussion group where 
those who are serious about the, uh, learning about buddha's teachings i have created a platform where you can discuss reflect post questions right and we can all help you see we are all we are all a community right we we the aim is to create a community where if you are part of a community where everyone is learning and everyone is understanding then it becomes easy because there will always be a phase in the learning journey when you will feel demotivated there is some personal problems that you, that you are going on see important thing understand this and you know i cannot stress more because then it will take more time if you have the human birth and you if you come to teachings of any learned master an enlightened master not only buddha but any any enlightened master krishna jesus any master you know don't turn it away from here because it takes a lot of good karmas to reach here now you are, you you have to just be a part of a community who is practicing who is learning which is called sangh in buddhism buddhism in buddhism sangh has a lot of importance sangh has equal importance as that of a buddha buddha dharma sangh right all three are important so sangh basically is carrying the buddha's teachings forward be part of that sangh be part of that community keep sharing keep staying motivated keep sharing your learning so that telegram discussion group you can join right that is like what is effort that i can do and then there are many other communities also that that you can explore right okay now yes uh, one to one if you want one to one guidance with me one to one kind of a uh, uh, my help that is also available again it's not a like free of course there is a nominal charge to cover my expenses but if you are interested the link is there you can uh, book a one to one uh, uh, consultation where i can give you precise insights so wherever you are stuck i will give you offer you help right okay now very important in buddha's teachings it's not only about learning 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 reading it's not theoretical it's all practical right buddha is a doctor right so he gives a medicine so the medicine is on, not only just looking at the wrapper of the medicine no you have to take the medicine so to take the medicine to to ingest the knowledge and the wisdom what we need is a one pointed mind right so so one pointed otherwise our mind is scattered even a scattered mind even if you read something you will it will all go bouncer it will all go over your head so side by side when you are doing your reading learning side by side you need to do meditation right now don't think meditation is boring no don't think meditation is difficult start doing meditation 10 minutes a day if you don't know any other if you know any meditation modality practice that or if you don't know start with anapansati meditation anapansati is full awareness of breathing breathing in and breathing out every moment i'm breathing you are breathing we just sit for 10 minutes being totally aware of the in and out of the breathing anapan is the in and out and sati sati is the sati is the hindi word of for uh, mindfulness so mindfulness of the in and out breathing right so we have to just do that i have also a guided meditation on this channel so i'll put the link in the description so you can use that start by 10 minutes then once you are comfortable with 10 minutes then you can do 10 minutes morning 10 minutes evening then you can do 15 minutes morning 15 minutes evening and accordingly you can do but start You, okay if 10 minutes is not doesn't work for you start with 5 minutes and then you can increase okay then what i want is you to do is start just becoming more mindful cultivating this habit of being more mindful in your daily life so our mind which is lost in thoughts all the mind is lost every time in thoughts right we are speaking to our child or our spouse but mind is somewhere else no bring the mind here in the here and now right when you are eating know that you are eating so there is a story of the buddha someone asked buddha uh, uh, what do you do buddha said we walk we eat we sit so the, he said that you, we also do that we also walk we eat we sit what different you people are doing buddha said when we walk we know we are walking when we sit we know we are sitting when we eat we know we are we, walk, we are we are when we eat we know we are eating right so buddha's path was the path of awareness right so small small just uh, uh, you know uh, moments you can take out from your daily routine and be more mindful so that is one one is the learning thing right one page a day uh, you can start with one book second you can join the live session third is meditation uh, 10 minutes a day or 5 minutes a day you start with and and fourth is being more mindful this is all what is needed in terms of as a beginner as you are diligent depending upon how diligent you are the new doors of knowledge will open new teachers you will find new mentors you will find new books you will find right 
I don't have the book like I am reading certain books. So you will find those books, those teachers, right? So keep the faith, right? Keep the faith and uh, keep, keep on the path. Um, uh, just treat me as your friend. I am there to help you on this path, right? So uh, just be in this uh, uh, knowledge, right? And you will find your way. Right? So, I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, do put in the comment section and I will answer, answer them. Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I wish you all the best in your uh, learning journey of Buddha teachings. Thank you. God bless you.